So what we're going to be doing from now on is going, we are going to be looking at technical analysis, okay? So uh, levels of support and resistance, they are part of technical analysis. So that's what you will become if you decide to, uh, to, to turn yourself into a professional trader, okay? So you will be a technical analyst. Uh, I'm not going to go through this, but I'll leave that on the, the page so you can watch back when I post this video on YouTube. The video will be uploaded probably later on today or maybe tomorrow morning, okay? So you can, you're can going to be able to read or see all of these again. So today we are going to be talking about support and resistance levels. Uh, so what are support and resistance levels? These are simple price levels or range of a price that a security or a currency doesn't often go over, resistance or under support. Support and resistance levels are the key levels in Forex market. It gives a better indication whether to enter into the positions long or short over a period of time. So basically, this is what it is, okay? We are talking about these two lines here. The top line we always 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 gonna call the resistance level and the bottom line we always gonna call support level okay and this are considered to be horizontal support and resistance level support and resistance levels can be found in both horizontal and diagonal levels when markets are moving in a horizontal line over a long period of time this means that the market is normally moving sideways Okay, so when you see the market, let me get a pen here, moving, okay, like this, that means the market is moving sideways. Why sideways? No up and down, because we have these levels, okay, we have the level of resistance and level of support. So in order for this to be uh, considered an uptrend, we will see the market moving like this. Okay? As simple as that. This particular sideways movement can, can have two different effects on the market depending on their time frames. So, this is the price fluctuation. When markets are moving in a diagonal level, it is known that the market is in a trend which means that it can be moving in an upward or downward direction. So we have the diagonal um, support and resistance levels. The same thing, the top line is always will be called the resistance level and the bottom line always be called support level, okay? We have the downtrend and we also have the uptrend. These arrows below represent the price movement, okay? The market price movement. So basically is just what I told you before. When the price, the market goes up and down, up and down, but doesn't break these levels here. That's why we call a sideways movement, okay? In, in this example, the market is moving sideways. A long position could have been taken at a support, okay, here, a support level, or a short position could be taken at the resistance level. When I talk about uh, uh, short or long, that means if you go long, that means you are buying. And if you're going short, that means you are selling. And when I say here, uh, at a long position, okay, at a long position, you could have been taken uh, this trade at a support level. So basically, you buy here, and sell there and then if you sell short you sell here or you you enter the market okay and you go short and this is going to be your target okay these levels are normally considered to be the most profitable levels in trading okay so pay attention because if you want to make money in the market <coughs> Excuse me. If you want to make money in the market, these are very important sort of levels. You can actually make a lot of money from this sideways movement sometimes. Okay. 
Remember, it's all, it's also important to keep in mind that not all horizontal levels are good setup levels to take a position. Let's now see an example of uh, explain what I mean by that. Okay. <coughs> Guys, please, if you have any question, you can pose me at any time, okay? Don't, don't let yourself go confused. Um, so, this is pretty much what I was talking about. We see a sort of sideways movement, okay? The price going up and down and doesn't break these levels here, okay? The only time we saw the price breaking was this one here. And this is like a, a, a false Bro uh, breaking, but we're going to talk about that as well later on. In this example, we are looking at one day time frame. Okay, so remember when I said probably last week was a little bit too quick in order uh, when you're talking about candles. This, this is why it's important for you to know a little bit the candles as well. Uh, in, a, in, a, in when you go to your chart, okay, you know that you can take you can change the time frames of the candles. So you can, we have uh, one month, one week, one day, four hours, six hours one hour, five minutes, one minute, so on and so forth, okay? So these ones here, each candle represents one day, right? From the support to the resistance level, as shown by an arrow, okay? I showed by an arrow, this one here, a total of 608 pips, okay? So basically from, from this point A to this point B here, we have 608 pips. That's a lot of pips, guys, a lot of pips, right? Uh, this means that if you have to take a short position from A to B, you could have been uh, on a win trading of approximately 400 pips, respectively. Let's see an example where your entry levels and stop loss and targets could have been placed. So here would you be pretty much our entry level. At this point here, we're going to have our stop loss, okay? And here we have the target. So again, if you don't know why we have the stop loss here, a stop loss we is always necessary to place on any trade you do, because if the, for example, if you take your trade here, okay, this is your starting point. So instead of the market start going down, okay, this way, which is going to make you profit, if the market start going up against you, once it reaches and touch your stop loss, your, your position will be closed automatically. So that means if you, let's say, if you have placed 100 pounds here, okay, 100 pounds for your stop loss, so you know that you don't need to worry if, for example, if you need to go out, you don't need to be looking at the market because you know if the market goes against you, you the maximum you, you, lose, you lose on this trade will be 100 pounds, not 200 or 300 because you have set up a price, a limit here for your stop, okay? But in this case here, the market uh, went in your, in your favor because you bought here or you sold here, let's put that way, okay? And the market went all the way down, giving you 400 pips. All right, so this was a winning trade. You can now see that this support and resistance level were at the perfect levels for the trade. It has provided enough room for the trade to be placed, their stop loss and a target, allowing, allowing the market to take its normal course. Let's now see another example of support and resistance level, but in a much more short time frame. So remember, this is a one hour, uh, sorry, one day time frame. We are now going to look at one, uh, sorry, five minutes time frame. It's pretty much the same. As you can see, the market is sort of moving sideways here. Okay, if you look at one slide back, pretty much the same. Okay, moving sideways. The support and resistance level of this chart represents a five minutes time frame, as I said. The distance between point A and point B is now 10 pips only, okay? So look at the difference. From this chart here, we have from A to B 608 pips, whereas this one here, we see only 10 pips, okay? 
So what does it tell you straight away? This is a much more risky trade, okay? Uh, this means that if you have to take a short position, uh, a short position, the probability of winning trade would be very minimal and very risky. Let's see where the entry and stop loss and target should be placed, okay? So here we have our entry level, okay? Here we have our stop loss, and here we have our target, okay? So based on the entry and target, we can clearly see that it would have been a very, very risky trade. The reasons for this is that you would not, you would definitely be sitting on this trade for quite some time only to make around four to five pips, which is not much at all, okay? So you are kind of risking a lot of, of your capital here for just a very small amount of, uh, of pips, okay? It's also important that you keep in mind that a small time frame like this can be very volatile, okay? This is one of the main things that you need to, to understand about being a scalping trade, okay? Scalping trading are trades that uh, trade on a market in a very uh, small time frame, like one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, okay? Up to two, one hour, right? So if you wanna make a quick profit, this is the time frame you're normally gonna use when you start doing your trades using time frames like this. Can you make money out of time frame like this? Yes, you can make a lot of money. I'm not gonna deny that, but you, equally you can lose a lot of money. Why do you lose a lot of money and why you make a lot of money? Well, it's very easy. Okay, uh, remember each candle of this. Okay, uh, it's a five minutes time represents five minutes time frame. Okay. So in one day time frame, how many five minutes can the wheel appear? A lot. And you know the price, you know, when the market is open, the, this is what the candle does. Go up, go down, go up and down, go up and down. Okay, this is in one day time frame. Okay, this is what happened. Go up and down, up and down, up and down, until the candle decides to close. Okay, they might gonna close on the top here or might gonna close at below here. Okay, and the, the color also is gonna change depending who is winning this trade. If it's green, that means the bullish are winning. If it's red, the bearish are winning, okay? And the, the reason this is very risky is because in a five minutes time frame, the volatility will be a lot greater than in the one day time frame, okay? In one day time frame, you only see one candle moving up and down. Whereas this one here, there are many candles going up and down very quickly. So if you take, for example, like we did, we take our um, trade here, and our stop loss there, for the market to go up and come back down very quickly, it's, you know, it's very possible that to happen. So this is why it's very risky. But then again, if you are locking off and trading in a direction of the market, you can make money very quickly, okay? Uh, another reason is that the target's five pips can be very risky and you can lose uh, your money very quickly, like I said. In reality, would you be really willing to give up a percentage of your capital for such a small profit, okay? Because if you decide to, do, to go um, to become a scalping, uh, and let's say you're gonna start with 10,000 pounds, okay? Probably it's a little bit too much. If you if you start in your you know, trade, probably you're gonna start with maybe with 1,000, okay? Let's, let's start with 1,000 here. Uh, Normally, what I, uh, uh, my trade, my, uh, all my students, you know, at my academy, I normally tell them to do uh, three, to, uh, three to one uh, ratio, okay? Three to one. Why three to one? Basically, you put your entry here, your stop loss is gonna be somewhere around there, and your target must be somewhere below here. It has to be three times more the value of what you're risking. Okay, so if you risk 100 pounds, basically you have to make at least a 300 pounds profit. So this is how I normally um, teach. But there are a catch on this as well, okay? It doesn't mean you, you have to hold on, you know, sit, uh, taking a trade and hold on your position for a long time. And maybe if you're just doing like, uh, two to one and then you just keep holding your trading open. No, if you if you see you're making profit, you can always move your stop loss, lock up 
your your profit and just wait to see what's gonna happen perhaps the market is gonna go to the three to one whereas you're gonna have a full um, a profit return okay but don't worry too much we're gonna go I'm gonna explain more details in a in a in a chart in a minute right uh, Support and resistance levels create a sort of barrier between the prices, making the market moving in a bit, uh, make the market move between the price action. Price normally tend to stay in a between uh, support and resistance levels up to a certain period of time until it can be broken at either direction. Okay, so we have the resistance level with support. The market that's what the market is going to be doing. In a sideways movement, the market is gonna break either towards the downside or to the upside. And uh, if the market is in a downtrend, okay, in a downtrend, usually you we will see the market breaking to the upside, okay, no to the downside. It's very rare, you know. Probably you, you we will see some example of the market breaking to the downside, but that doesn't happen with much frequency, okay. So it's going to be something like this, market moving sideways, you go up, go down, go up again, and then we'll see the break there, okay? And that's gonna be the opportunity for the buyer. Let's see an example. This is what I'm talking about. You see the market trying to go up, go down, move up a little bit, come back down to the same support level, okay? Try to move up, manage to, to touch the resistance level, break, but didn't close outside. So put the, the, the bearish start pushing the price down again into this you know rectangle level. Okay, let's call that. And then look what happened. Boom. Okay, they have the break, and once the breaks appear, you have the opportunity to buy here. So this is where we buy. Okay. Note, one, uh, once resistance is broken, it will then become a support as it will be the base for the market to retest the previous low. What do I mean by that? So you see the price going up and then we see the break. Okay, so when the, the market breaks that level, which is going to be this resistance level here, okay, the market never going to carry on moving up, 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 up. It always will find a, another barrier. Okay, so what stops, what creates these barriers here? Okay, what, 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 do, what do you guys think it is, guys? You can, you can reply that to me if you can. So when the market break these levels here, what do you think that makes the price, you know, for example, the, the, the market just broke this level here and the price is now moving towards the upside. What do you think is gonna make the price being rejected here? Any, any idea? Nobody? <laughs> Nobody is there to say anything? <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, okay, what stops the market carry on moving towards the upside is the price, okay? So this is what moves the market. Market uh, is based moved on, on the price, greed and fear. Those are the three principles that we reach the market, okay? So once you see the price with the market moving to, towards the upside, we're always going to look for potential key prices. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk this in a chart, okay? In a minute. So then you see we have a rejection there. Once you have the rejection, look what happened, okay? We automatically create another uh, level, which now is gonna become another resistance level, okay? And then the bottom line will be called uh, no longer resistance level, it's gonna be called a support level, okay? So we have the support level, we have the resistance level, but once it breaks, okay, because the max now is up, so this is gonna be like the floor. So every time you see the max going down, this is be, will be called a support, okay? And sometimes the same line will be called like this one here, support and resistance line or level. 
look you see price going up came down going up down and then you see the break of the level okay and then look what happened boom price went all the way up found another barrier here basically because of the price okay and then the price start to drop again coming back all the way down to the support level okay Oops. Oops. coming back all to the support level and look what happened once it touched the support level again it was rejected okay look being rejected and you see the price moving towards the upside again but this time you know the bullish did not have any strength to carry on pushing the price up make this level uh, making the price come back to the same le the previous levels okay the previous high uh, instead you know the price just reached this level here okay and start moving towards the Dell side so now we we'll see the diagonal uh, levels uh, when you see uh, this channel pattern we call this a channel okay because you see it lo looks like a channel here right um, this, uh, it means that the market is on an upward trend okay it's very important to pay attention in which direction the market is going for instance if the price action is at a re uh, resistance level okay uh, and begins to show a rejection to the downside as the number one example here this arrow here okay before taking a short position you must remember that the trend is still to the upside okay what does it mean this is where a lot of trade make mistakes okay uh I, i'm sure you all have heard the, the phrase uh that says let's go with the flow haven't you because you don't want to go against the flow why if you go against the flow you will get hurt correct in this example here okay you see the majority here from this point here up to this point the majority here is towards the where to the upside is that we see an uptrend here okay so that means when the price reach levels like this okay for example would you buy here would you take your trade towards the upside here uh, can, can you answer that guys please uh, doesn't matter if it's right or wrong just answer the question if you think we should buy here who thinks we should buy here can anybody answer the question for me can you I think we should buy. you should buy mm, close to the support and the price is going up 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 yeah okay but what about what about here what about the resistance level we are looking at the resistance level do you think we should buy here better to sell there but if you if you buy you still can make profit because it's gonna go up at some point but better to sell i guess yeah but you don't you don't know that you don't know you're gonna make some profit because let's ignore this let's ignore all this this uh the remaining candles here okay we we don't know that yet we are at this point here okay so if you see for example okay we have the beginning of the trend okay it's difficult to identify uh trend guides at the beginning because you know they does exist you know they start forming so how do you know the market is going an uptrend or downtrend or a sideways well you need to see the market is always going to move like this the market is going to do this or the market is going to do this okay or this always always doesn't matter what this is those three examples you can register forever register forever because you know the market will never stop doing this the market tends to go up or down or sideways but never backwards never okay so basically okay if you we are if you see this level here okay we have our primitive uh, our first touch okay we didn't know that this, this is going to be our first touch because you know basically the market is coming from a sort of uh sideways movement here anyway right but here you see the market has touched the hit this level went all the way down 
moved towards the upside, look that, and went all the way down again. So when you see this first is, is, is sort of like a step, correct? The market is going, you see, if you look carefully, you see like a, a stairs being created. Oh, let me delete all this because it's, it's too much line. Uh, what is that? And then, okay, so what happened? The market creates this first one. The market has created this second one here, the second uh, high. Okay, we have the, our first high, our second high. And then you see the market create our third high. Okay, so basically it's time for, the, for us to start applying our lines. Okay, our resistance and support levels line. Okay, so we will never never buy here why because the market always have to breathe let's let's think that way okay i think that's the easy way to, to understand the market goes up and down up and down so the market went up came back down the market went all the way up again okay find the same level here if you put the line okay so it's very likely you see the market going back towards the downside okay but unfortunately, look what happened here. Okay, this would be a, a short trading. Okay, a short trading, but a very quick short for short trading because the majority uh, pattern here, the tendency here is to an uptrend, no a downtrend. So take this trade towards to the downside. It's a little bit risky because the trend, the majority of the trend, it's uh, going up, no down. And even if the market goes back down, we don't know how much down it's gonna go. Perhaps the market can come just as it came here, or sometimes the market just, you know, carry on, come back down, but doesn't touch this uh, baseline, okay? The support level line. So this is what you have to bear in mind as well, okay? So in this case, when you see an uptrend like that, the best thing to do is always buy not sell okay not sell unless unless the trend is already very big we will also see some example like this okay if you see this is a, a one day time frame and you can see the market has been an uptrend for quite some times and then when you see the market reaching the levels like this again so then we will see a, a, a possibility for um, take this trade short and also, what we have to pay attention in, we have to look at candles, you know, candles formation. What sort of candles are appearing in our charts? This is why it is also important to understand a little bit more about candles, okay? Uh, when you see this channel pattern, it means that the market is on an uptrend. It's a very important to pay attention in which direction the market is going. For instance, the, if the price action is, uh, is at a recess, oh, hang on. I read this before, didn't I? So let me carry <laughs> on. I'm going crazy here, guys. Uh, okay, we have another example here, but this is the opposite direction. The market is now going towards to the downside. Okay, boom. And then we see the break. So are you going to buy here? You know, are you going to take this trade to the long? No, to the, to the upside. No, because you have to wait for a confirmation to appear first, okay? If the confirmation doesn't appear, you can't take this trade. Okay, practicing time, let's now practice in a real life uh, chart because it's better for you guys to understand. So far, uh, is, is it quite clear so far, guys? Is everybody on the same? Okay, cool. Right, so let's look, uh, I'm going to look at Euro. If you want me to choose any other pair, just let me know. Okay, I just left this because, you know, nothing particular. But if you want me to look at any chart for you, just let me know. I'm not going to do the analysis of the, the, the chart, but this is just to explain how to apply your support and resistance levels. Okay, first thing I'm doing, I'm removing all my, my tools because this is something you will learn, but not yet. <clears throat> okay, 
So first thing first, what do you need to do? Okay, so you just open the chart and then you say, okay, uh, I don't know how to begin, right? Yeah, if you don't understand, if you haven't seen a chart like this, probably you're gonna feel a little bit confused. You will not know how, where to put the lines. But the, the, what I normally say to you is, just apply your line at any place, and then you see the chart is gonna be, give you, you know, create a little life from um, out of nowhere, you'll see. So I'm just gonna grab, get my trend line, okay? And then I'm gonna place my trend line anywhere, just, I'm gonna put like that, okay? Just leave like that, nothing much, nothing much else. What you can see so far, you see I haven't done anything, I just placed my line in a, in a chart, okay? So what we can see here, in order for you to understand the correct levels of support and resistance, you must understand that the market tends to respect these levels, okay? So what you need to look for is for the base of candles, okay? What, what does it mean by that? So we see here, okay, the mark has been going like, ooh, what is this? Let me delete this. Okay, the mark has been going in a downtrend here, up to this level here, okay, right? From this point here, what, we, what do we see? We see the mark going, you know, going up, okay? Mark has uh, started found the rejection at 1.16. The price is just on the uh, right hand side here on the screen. Shush. It's my dog behind, guys. Sorry. Uh, and then, so this is going to be my starting point. So I'm going to place my line there. Okay. And then I'm going to carry on pushing my line. Take, you know, trying to catch the majority of touchings, okay? What do you mean by that? I mean that, for example, the price went all the way up and came back down, okay? So this is one touch. We have another touch here, okay? And then it went all the way up and then you see we got a lot of touch here. And look what happened here, okay? We have a sort of break, break of this line, okay? Sometimes when this happened, okay, that means the, the the market is trying to, to, to break the price, uh, okay? But um, depend how much cheap or how much expensive it is, you will see a lot of rejection, which was the, the case here. For example, this red line means that the bearish, okay, the sellers was trying to make the price go further down, further lower than this current level here, but the bullish reject pushing the price all the way up, okay? Right, so can we see here any place, let me delete this line here, where I can put my top lines. Basically, my top line is going to be somewhere here, okay? So let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay, this guys, what you can see on your screen here, it's something called a pattern, okay? This is the beginning of a part, a triangle pattern, which has been, you know, it's not being created at the moment. So what I expect the monk to do now, basically is, you know, the monk perhaps go back all the way up, trying to reach this level here and be reject again. But I'm not gonna cover this because this is something for another time, another day, because there is way, a uh, specific way for us to trade patterns. So this is what I'm not gonna be doing now, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna move these lines. I'm gonna extend this line towards to the side and here, okay? And look what we see here. All right, so look at this. You see, remember this, we are looking at one day time frames, okay? One day time frames. So basically the market has found this high, okay? 
and then work reject came back all the way up okay broke this level here found another high and then from this point onwards you can see the market is going in a down trend at least up to this point here okay so if you look at my screen you can see that we have a very bad you know false break here okay so when things like this happen okay in order for you to place your lines you have to ignore this otherwise you're not going to have a better clear understand or better view of, of your graph what I'm going to do here, I'm going to look for more touches, okay? So at least now we can see that I've got one, two, three, four. The minimum we need is three touch in each direction. For example, we need at least three touches there and on the top and three touches at the bottom, okay? And the touch must not be together, okay? We need some separation like this. We don't want like, for example, here we have two candles together this is only one hour time frame so this is normal to happen so these i will consider as a one touch here a second touch or maybe this one could be a second touch you see we have a sort of gap between one and another so we have one touch two touch three touch so this tells me the marked it is going towards the downside okay because as you can see, okay, this is the the, uh, the highest high, the lower high, the lower high, and another lower high here. Okay, we don't see the price breaking. You know, the market is not breaking the previous highs. Okay, you can see one high is a lot higher than the other high, right? And then at the bottom is the same thing. We, we have, one, by the way, uh, although I count this as one touch, we never count the first one as a one touch, okay? We always gonna count from, uh, the second one, right? So basically gonna count, this is going to be the first, this is going to be the second, and this should be our third, okay? And we were expecting the market to carry on towards uh, to the downside, but at this example here, what happened, the market broke and kept going towards the upside. Uh, so, and at the bottom, the same thing. We have several touches here. Okay, as you can see, the price are doing, you know, we have a one low, a lower low, a low, another lower lower, lower lower, and so on and so forth. Okay, you see, it, it's like a step, right? This is pretty much what the market does all the time. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna keep using the same uh, Euro, US dollar, but let's start place this line exactly how I normally do on a daily basis, okay? So the best thing I recommend you guys to do is, if you're going to trade on a one hour time frame, okay, or four hours time frame, okay, time short time frames like this, I always, always recommend you to start first at one day time frame. Why one day time frame? Because one day time frame, the candles are a lot stronger, okay? And the candles tells you in which direction the market, the major direction the market is going to, okay? So as you can see here, okay? If you look from the, this is uh, 2019, uh, 2020, this is this year, but since, uh, hang on. Since things uh, June, beginning of June, you we can see the market sort of moving in a down trend. Okay, look at that. Okay, so now you know the ma the major trend here is a downtrend because it's one day time frame, right? So, and then if you want to look for opportunities here, what we're going to do is, all right, so I'm going to do, um, I want to be a day trader. So I'm going to go for one hour time frame and look for opportunities here in one hour time frame based on these two lines here, because I know these two lines here are the, major, the, the, the strongest line for uh, the one day time frame. 
Okay? So, just one second, guys. Hey, shush! Right, so now you know these two lines here are the one day time frames, okay? So, can you now place your lines on the one hour time frame? Absolutely, you can, because you can do another analysis on a small time frame. And how you will do that? Well, look what is showing on your frame uh, on your chart already okay what do we have here look at that you know that the price has been reached this level came back all the way down here touched this price of one point let me see one point eleven nine okay was rejected came back down to the same level, was rejected, moved all the way up, did not touch this line at this moment, okay? But one thing you, you need to know as well, guys, when you, for example, if we did look at the one day time frame, right? I have placed my lines here. If you're going to move to a short time frame, make sure you readjust the lines because sometimes you don't get uh, uh, enough touches. Right, so make sure you're getting all the lines properly. For example, this one here, we can go slightly, a little bit lower. Okay, you must to touch, make sure you touch all the lines. And now to one hour. There we go. So I've got the, the touches here, not as, or not as near as this one here, but still. So now at least you know here, this is a very strong level. And if you extend this line here, look, okay, the price has also been at the same level here and it was rejected. So it's very possible, okay, it's very possible. We see a rejection here, okay, again, the rejected my carry on, and then you buy, you take this trade to an uptrend. So, which is pretty much which is what is happening here at the moment, okay, you can see the bull, the bull now are trying to take this price all the way up again. As you can see, this green line appears, okay? So let me remove, okay, I'm not gonna remove, let me just choose another pair. Let's go to New Zealand dollar. Uh, now let's go to no, uh, Euro Japanese yen, let's go, okay. So we are looking at Euro Japanese yen at the moment. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move to one day time frame. Okay. Let me remove my lines here. This is all the lines I probably used. Look this beauty. Okay. I I took uh, this leg here. I was lucky enough to get it. I bought somewhere around here. And I sold, I think, somewhere around here. Why did I sell here? Well, let me show you now based on those lines. Okay. So, one day time frame. Okay, so this is pretty much as the other 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 uh, example. You can see the price going all the way down. Okay, you can see that. Look, I haven't touched the line at this point here. Probably at the beginning I I did. Okay, but as the market is start, you know, uh, making different levels, you have to readjust readjust the lines. As the time goes by okay but for the sake of this example we have to make the line a little bit bigger because you we want to get the majority of the the touches one thing you cannot do guys I mean you can do if you want but I don't want advise you to do that is for example you can see I'm using pretty much the higher the higher of the candles okay this is the very top of the candle this is the maximum of the candle 
the, the, the maximum price. Okay, so I'm into, uh, the, my line, my resistance line, okay, has pretty much touched all the maximum of each candle, okay, and not the body, okay, not the body like this. So here, I mean, I'm not the reason the, the candle is touching the body is because we are seeing the break here, right? Um, and then don't do this. Put the candle right, starting the candle right on the top where the maximum of the candle is, and then you mix like the the body and the high of the candle. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that because it's not good. Trust me that will confuse you sometimes, okay? So you, you can decide that either you go just for the bodies, okay? Because some trades just go for the bodies of the candle like this, and then you're gonna have all the body all the way through. You have to be consistent, okay? Or you go to the maximum of the candle. I personally, this is how I trade. I, I choose to go for the, the maximum of the candle. And then I took the trade, I entered the trade at, at this price. Why? Why did I buy here and I didn't buy uh, at the break of the price? Well, basically, if you look, okay, if you try, apply another line here, is this line here, okay, now this is our uh, support level. Okay. Is this support level significant? No, not really. Why? Because you see, there is no more information here. We don't have more candles coming towards to this level here. Okay. Perhaps if you scroll down like that, yeah, maybe, but not as much. Okay. Uh, so you know the price here is pretty low, but we just have one touch. Okay. So this is not much significant for me. So if you place your level a little bit higher, okay, trying to get a little bit more information, right? So I have the touches there, the touches there, and that. Here, you notice I'm mixing a little bit of the, 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 the minimum of the candle and a little bit of the body, but not because uh, this is different than here. I'm looking for just a support, a base level here, that's why, okay? So I bought pretty much at this price here, at 115 and around, and I sold here. Why did I sell here? Okay, remember, market always, always look for levels. Okay, they always gonna be looking for levels of support and resistance. Okay, if we look back, okay, let's ignore all this, this uh, downtrend here. Let's just pretend the price is at this level now. Okay, so if we look back, look what's happened here. Okay. I'm gonna place my line here. Okay. Let me change this color. Let's put um, a red color. No, red is it's gonna confuse. Let's put a black. Right. If you have, if you look back, look what happened here. Do you guys think this is an important level? I think so. I hope you agree with me. The reason this is a very important level, it's because you see the price came down all the way down, has found a, a, a support here. Look where he found a support, a rounded prices. This is one thing you need to make a note. Always look for rounded prices because it's very, very important, okay? So as you can see, the price has touched this, uh, found, stopped here, was rejected at 1.20 and then try to move towards the upside and it came back down towards the same level. And look what happened, was rejected, rejected again. When you see market doing this, you can be certain that, you know, this is going to become a very strong uh, level, okay? Either if the market breaks like it did, it will always come back to the same level again, which is exactly what happened here. And look how often, okay, remember, this is one day time frame. How often the market did came back to this level? Many, many times. Okay, look how many times the market has been fluctuating at the same level, right? So why do you think my stop was somewhere, my target was somewhere around here? Of course, based not just on this level here, but equally, if I extend my line here, look what happened. Look, 
look what happened when the market was in a downtrend okay where did the market found uh, uh, support and resistance okay where did the market found uh, limits of his uh, movements at pretty much the same level we saw look at this we can see here the market pushing trying to carry on moving towards to the upside trying to carry on gain okay a uh, strength towards to the upside but that did not happen okay because you have here already a beginning of a resistance level also a very strong support and resistance level here so it's very likely the market will be rejected again at this level and it was exactly what happened okay so look price went so now you know how the candles open and close so you can understand this a little bit better look what happened the 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 candle went all the way up and was rejected and closed at this point here all the way up and closed at this level here sorry closed at this level here pretty much the same level as the 120 mark and then push uh, went all the way down okay but then look look what oh, look what happened here oh we had our first break okay okay this is our first breakout and look boom the price went all the way up found a resistance here and then boom collapsed again so this is why i decided to take the trade down here okay because the price was low and the opportunity also was very high so as soon as i went i took this trade i will sit of course in this trade for for several days and then you see the market moving all the way up the reason i decided to stop take my target here was because i knew that the market once it starts reaching this level we probably i will probably see a rejection again i could have held my position open yes i could but who knows we nobody knows what's gonna happen with the market so we work with probabilities right so the probability here was at, you know was actually the market was coming to this price uh, of 120 and probably be rejected again and it's pretty much what sort of happened because it was you know you can see the price broke this level went all the way up and start pushing back down again look below to the same level and that's where we are now setting on the same level look at this guys okay and if you know how to read the candles already would you take this trade down would you would you start selling here definitely look this is a, a doji candle okay showing what a probably rejection a maximum you know a strong rejection at this price pushing the price all the way down and now that's where we are setting okay that's where we're sitting and now is it time to buy or is it time to sell well at the moment in my opinion in my opinion i don't think it's time to do anything at the moment because i don't see opportunity here okay but this is pretty much how i read and i apply my lines is that a little bit clear please okay okay um let me see i'm gonna just show one more example okay and then i'm gonna go uh, let's go now to uh, the same the same example on Let's see, let's see what's happening now. Let's see what's happening here. No, let's, no, let's go to a very, very, very small time frame. Let's, let's go for five, five minutes. Minute frame, frame. Okay, okay. In a five, five minutes minute time, time frame, frame. Let's, let's say, oh, he's on the scalp. scalp. Okay, 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 I want to be ready. Five, 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 five minutes. minutes. Let's, do let's do this. Okay, let's see if that's possible. Look how fast that was, guys. See, see, this is this is why this is need to be careful. We can have a small time frame because because we can we can easily make a lot of money. We can always lose a lot of money. Okay, okay. Look what's happened now to the market. Okay, the market is trying to transpass the same one twenty one level here. Okay, okay. Look what happened. So we have basically here our uh, support line, which was broken. The, the market went all the way up, okay? So in this case here, what we need to do, we probably need to place another line here, okay? So now you see, 
the price the market going up and down and now we see the break but one question okay after everything you've seen so far would you consider this a strong sideways movement here yes or not look at this oh the, the market is okay perfect uh, uh, Russian you said no that's perfect look what's happened now we had the break okay the max is coming back towards to this point 121 do you think that's gonna break yeah it's trying to break already interesting what time is it four o'clock uh, look at that look at that guys look at this Look, what do you think it's happening right now? Why do you think, why do you think, you know, there is a candle, a crazy candle appearing on your chart like this? Well, it, it's, no, it's not an overboard. It's not an overboard. Uh, the reason is because look all the candles in your chart, okay? Look the size of the candles. And now look the size of the, this last candle. It's a massive, right? It's a very big candle. Although we are just looking at five minute time frames, the candle should be at exactly at, you know, pretty much uh, at the same sort of sizes, okay? Not much bigger than, than those ones here, okay? Because if you look back, the majority of the candle is pretty much the same. So this is why sometimes it's very important for you to be careful when you do scalping trade, which is a, a small time frame like this, because in reality, okay, although this is a weak, okay, a weak um, sideways movement because we don't have a lot of touches here, okay. If you had, for example, if the market, let's say, had touch, we had one touch towards the resistance level, we have one touch towards the support, two touches, nearly the third touch here, but we let's not consider this because it did not touch. But look on the top. We pretty much had none, okay? Let's, I'm not gonna consider the first one because this is the base. So we should have one touch, another touch, another touch at the bottom, and then here, I would maybe consider to buy this, maybe, okay? Because, why buy here? Because you can see every time the price has touched this level here, we see the price going towards the upside. Okay, so basically, it would be very nice if you take this trade in a candle like this appear. But the reason you see a massive candle appearing on your chart right now, it's because something is happening right now uh, to the market regarding to a news. So a news came out that has affected the market right now and has pushed the price of the euros to, 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 to jump. So this is why you need to be careful. So this is why I told you, remember, I said to you, uh, go to Forex Factory, because here you can see all the news throughout the day, okay? All the news throughout the days, uh, which is gonna tell you exactly what's happening, okay? To the market. So before you take any trade, okay? So make sure nothing here is going to affect your trade, okay? So you look here, look the pair, and then you trade after that, okay? Is that clear? Do you have any question? No question. No question? Is everybody, has everybody understand okay? <laughs> All clear, perfect. Okay, so what I'm, my, my recommendation now to you will be, um, next time we meet, I'm going to ask you to open your computer screen. Okay, so it's very easy. You just need to click a uh, button on uh, Skype and then you're gonna twist. I want to see each one of you guys uh, trying to show me one um, technical analysis. Let's, pl let's place uh, levels of support resistance. Doesn't matter which one, okay? Because I want to see if you're doing is right and then I will ask, ask you some questions relate to your uh, whatever you have done. Is that okay? Because this is the, the, the easiest way for you to um, get this. Otherwise, trust me, it looks simple, but it's not as simple as it looks, okay? Look at this. Look at 
You see here? It's a perfect uptrend and now we're seeing the break. So it's very likely what happened now is perhaps the price carry on maybe a little bit up, come back down towards to this level here and then move back towards the upside again. This could be very possible to happen. Okay, so as a, <laughs> let's go that homework, uh, please do some, you can do either or you can play some lines like this. Uh, how would you like to see some lines on a downtrend, on an uptrend, maybe some sideways as well, okay? And then you can either uh, print screen and send me on the WhatsApp group or we can do that again live and then you just show me your computer screen so I can, so I can see if you're doing right or wrong, okay? And don't worry if you're doing wrong. I hope you do some wrong because if you're doing wrong, that means you're trying and then it's easy for you to understand as well, okay? So for the time being, all the best and if you have any questions just send on the whatsapp group okay guys uh i'll speak to you soon take care